President, uh, I rise today on my own behalf and on behalf of uh, my colleague, Senator Bill Cassidy. Um, the last, I know this has been true for states besides Louisiana, but the last 18 months from a weather perspective in Louisiana has been a, uh, a fantastic impression of hell. Uh, we've had three hurricanes. Um, we've had, uh, depending upon you how you define them, uh, probably 10 different heavy rain events. And when I say heavy rain event, I mean, that doesn't sound very serious. I can assure you it, it was. Um, when you get six, eight, 10, 12 inches of rain in a short period of time, you're going to flood. I, I don't care if you're living on Pikes Peak, you're going to flood. The water's got to go somewhere. And of course, we were part of the bad debilitating freeze as well that also hit Texas very hard. Uh, my, my people, Mr. President, are very resilient. And uh, they're tough, but they are tired. Um, most Americans, when they think of a natural disaster, at least in connection with Louisiana, think of Hurricane Katrina. And certainly it was a bad one. Um, I was there. We never would have recovered without the help of the American people. And uh, I, I, I will never be able to thank the American people enough for putting forth their, their, uh, their, their hard-earned tax dollars to help us recover. Um, as th these new hurricanes and rain events and freezes impacted probably close to a third, maybe 40% of my people the worst part of it, but not, not the only part that was hit hard, was uh, southwest Louisiana. Um, at last count, about 1,000, 100,000, excuse me, 100,000 homes uh, were, uh, were damaged, flooded or blown, blown over. Um, they're still running the numbers. The damages are in the billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars. Uh, and my, uh, my people need help. And the purpose of my bill today is to authorize help for them. Um, my bill today and Senator Cassidy's bill today, I, as I said, I appear on behalf of Senator Cassidy as well, would authorize uh, $1.1 billion to, uh, to help my people recover. Now, I want to emphasize, Mr. President, some people, when they think of, of flooding and hurricanes, they think of wealthy people with second homes, with multi-million dollar dwellings on the beach. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not putting down anybody who has a nice, expensive be beach house, but that's not what we're talking about. These uh, weather events, through no fault of their own, are just good, honest, middle Americans who get up every day and go to work and obey the law and they pay their taxes, they try to do the right thing by their kids. Their biggest investment is their home. Uh, and, and many uh, completely lost their home. Uh, many of them had flood insurance, but it didn't come. Many of them had homeowners insurance and both, but it just didn't cover. Uh, their losses completely. So we're talking about middle America here, and I want to make that, uh, that clear. Now, um, Mr. President, I'm sure you're thinking, because I know you well and you're, 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 you're a smart man, um, okay, we're spending $1.1 billion here, where are we going to get it? Well, I come to, to you today with a problem, but I come to you today with a solution. Um, I don't want to digress too much, but at one, as you know, uh, we're trying to build out 5G in America. And uh, 5G operates through radio waves through the air called spectrum. And uh, the FCC is in charge of those radio waves. And a couple of years ago, the FCC, and those radio waves, by the way, belong to the, to the American people. 
the FCC licensed them, them out to, uh, to companies to use in, uh, in wireless communications. Uh, a few years ago, the FCC was about to give away uh, what's called the uh, C-band spectrum. These, these particular radio waves um, that would allow for 5G to, be, to become reality in America. And a number of us objected. We said, you know, you, you, you don't own these radio waves. American people own these radio waves. Why are you giving them away? And uh, after some lively discussions, we finally turned the FCC around, and they decided to auction those radio waves to the highest bidder. They brought in $80 billion. $80 billion. Uh, and I'm very proud of that. That money is sitting in an account in the Department of Treasury. Senator Cassidy's bill and my bill would authorize the use of $1.1 billion of that $80 billion in cash to be, to be used through community development block grants to help my people recover. Um, and uh, Mr. President, I can assure you I wouldn't be here today asking for this um, if my didn't, people didn't desperately need it. They're, they're hanging on. They're hanging on um, with every ounce of strength they have, but they're human. And as I said, they're tough, but they are, they're tired. For that reason, Mr. President, um, on behalf of Senator Cassidy and myself, as if in legislative session, I ask unanimous consent that the Senate proceed to the immediate consideration of S-2359, which is at the desk. I further ask that the bill be considered read, read a third time and passed, and, and that the motion to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table. Without objection. Mr. Mr. Excuse President. Excuse me. Is there objection? Mr. President. Senator from Kentucky is recognized. Reserving the right to object, uh, we have now crossed $28 trillion in debt. We borrow more than $2 million every minute. The deficit last year was over $3 trillion. The deficit this year will be over $3 trillion. There's a trillion dollar wish list out there for everybody. Everybody wants something and somebody says, oh, there's money in the treasury. Guess what? There's not. There's a big hole, a big black hole in the Treasury, $28 trillion worth. So we do have this one asset, and when we sell it, we should do it to pay down the deficit. We shouldn't do it to expand government further. So I object to this because we're $28 trillion in debt. We don't have any money, and we should be fiscally conservative as we profess to be. I object. Sure.